Hello, and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson, and I'm so glad you stopped by. It's dreary outside, but in here, we're just going to think about pretty things in Christmas. Um, we're going to use the Hero Arts Hollyberries die it, and uh, stamp set, and we're going to do some easy watercoloring. I'm not quite able to use my right arm great, so this method is it's kind of like they call it messy watercoloring, which I would be messy no matter what with my watercoloring. The first thing I'm going to do is get out my distressed watercolor paper and I decided to use the smooth side this time and I'm putting it on my sticky grid. I like that a lot better than the magnets. I think the magnets kind of get in the way. And since that stamp still had some debris on it, I used that grid from Simon Said Stamp, which is just awesome. I also use my powder tool really well to keep away the extra embossing powder flicks. And I'm using my Versamark ink to ink this up really well. You really want to do that with, you know, watercolor paper, even though this is, I believe, the smooth side. My table has a little bit of a dip in it, so I have to press it extra hard. And I always put back the cover on that Sizzix thing, and you can get a lot of use out of that before replacing it. Now we're going to heat emboss, which is the thing that got me into rubber stamping. I just, I still think it's a, a miracle. So just be real generous because I'm going to put this all back in the jar anyway. So just go ahead and make sure you have thorough coverage. And I have that little bloop in the corner, but it doesn't matter because I'm die cutting this anyway. It looks like I didn't. It looks like I used the um, textured side of the watercolor. So definitely stamp, double stamp it to get a good image. Putting it back in the jar because I have knocked over more than one. And now we're going to do the magic using the heat tool. I'm going to go ahead and boss it. And I just kind of went through that real fast. I'm sure you've seen it before. I'm getting, I'm not going to use watercolors, but you certainly could use anything you have, uh, your uh, brush markers or whatever. These happen to be the holiday micas from Tim Holtz's distress line. I'm just putting the little drops down there and these will have a little bit of shimmer to them. And I'm adding a little bit of water and just plunking the color on, dipping into each color and going back and forth. So you have a little bit of a varying color in it, but I mean, I'm not taking any time here to be careful. And the embossed raised image keeps everything in line. So you don't have to worry so much about going out of lines. Even though I am die cutting it, there is sort of a white edge um, on the die cut. So I try to be a little bit careful. And just dipping, the, the micas are very, uh, it's basically a spray stain. And so they're pretty heavily pigmented. So you don't, a little bit goes a long way. Now I, I know those pigments are really super hard to find. Um, you can look at a craft store and it might be your best option. Because I know that a lot of the craft stores online don't have it anymore, but you could just use watercolors and add mica by, not really mica, but just add shimmer by using your aqua shimmer pen on top. And it, it'll be the same, it'll be beautiful. I'm just tidying up the last of the green. And now we're moving on to the red. Uh, that's winterberry and peppermint, I believe. I'm just dropping them with a little bit of water uh, into all the little berries, but I'm kind of adding a little bit of both colors. You won't be able to see it really till it's dry, but this is where I wanted to show you. I kind of just didn't like the color of those great big, you know, I don't know if they're berries or what they are. And so with watercolor, as long as it's wet, you can dip water in it and then soak it up with a paper towel. And the more you do it, the more watercolor you remove from the paper. So boo-boos can be fixed even with watercolor. And Distress is a water reactive pigment. 
then you can go back in and color it the way you want. So I used the other color and then just kind of highlighted it. And I see that I got out of the line there. So you just go in with the water again and sop it up with the paper towel, even though I am die cutting. But see, it works really well. So messy water coloring in two ways. Messy in the application and messy because I'm just messy. So this will dry. I let it dry on its own because I think it does a better job. Now I'm getting my layout together and I die cut some gold mirror card stock using a red rectangle. I don't like to waste, so I go ahead and uh, keep the center part out. You're never going to see it anyway. I'll just save it for another project. And then the Hero Arts Infinity postage stamp, and I sprayed a little bit of uh, shimmer spray on that, but it's a discontinued company, and so I don't have a name for you, but just gold shimmer spray. I'm getting ready to put my cinnamon on. So I'm gonna use those little gold strips for something else too. I, I decided to make the border a little thinner so I could have a white frame around it. And I'm just kind of figuring out the lay of the land here. I attached two more of the Holly's die cuts, you know, not done, just die cut the paper to make it thicker. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. And I'm, I gotta find out kind of where I'm gonna lay it. And I'm gonna use this grid to make sure that it's straight. This little thing is handy dandy, I'll tell you. You can make your own, but Simon sells it really inexpensively. Now I can tell that it's even. And then you just pick it up with the lid pull off that sheet and you're good to go get out that powder tool so you don't have a bunch of stray stuff I'm sorry it's a little off camera there but you know the drill I'm gonna go ahead and get this stamped now I got a towel out and I'm kind of roughing this up a little bit because I have not used this image before and there's a little bit of a oily residue on them when you first get them. So you want to kind of prep your stamp, season it, so to speak. And now we're just going to stamp as usual. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you are enjoying this and would like and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll find out when I have other videos come on. And also, I just wanted to wish you Merry Christmas if, or Happy Holidays for whatever you celebrate, in case I don't talk to you before then. Uh, it's going to be wonderful to be with family again. Last year was, well, it was weird. So, you know, I think this year we all could use a little bit of getting together. I'm just going to heat emboss this like everything else you can tell because it gets shiny and bright very quickly especially with the heat tool and now i'm just going to put the card together if you do get a little bit of a residue a sand eraser or a knife you'll be able to get it right off once it's dry or once you've embossed it if it was embossing powder it'll do ink or embossing powder I'm going to just glue everything in place. I'm using art glitter glue, um, but there's loads of liquid glues. Whatever you have will be just fine. And as usual, I'm eyeballing, but I do open up the card base so I can go by the, the crease there. And just stacking these up and we're gonna be good to go. More eyeballing. I just, I'm just not much of a measurer. And then I glue this puppy and it's, you know, it takes a little while to do. I do love the detail tip on this art glitter glue. It, if anything oozes out, it dries matte and clear. You will never know it was there. And then there's our beautiful sprig of holly and put something heavy on it for just a couple of seconds. Now I'm going to add some Studio Cadia gold foil baubles because it just I thought it just needed some little something something. And I'm using a jewel picker. 
and I'm kind of liking how it's going. I like the variation in colors, but I decided I wanted the berries to be shiny. So I'm just putting a little dibby dab of glossy accents. Now, I did a little tiny amount, so it didn't have, you know, like a bubble. If you wanted the, the Nouveau drops would do nice little perfect domes if you wanted. I wanted these shiny, but not necessarily, um, you know, more dimension. And I'm just putting a, just the littlest of dippy dabs on top just to give it just, you know, that little bit of shine. And I'm doing it up close here for you so that you can kind of see. I like using this little bottle because my other bottle, I think, had a hole in it or something. So I let this dry. This does take a little bit to dry. And you can't mess with things until it's dry. I'll forget and pick it up and make a mess, but this time I did not. So there is our finished project. I really like this card and it wouldn't be hard to mass produce. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, that you'll come back and see me, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments below. And I'm going to be back really soon. Um, I'm hoping to be able to start crafting my arm tomorrow. I get the go ahead. So my shoulder's doing really great. I appreciate everybody's thoughts. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I don't always do videos on everything. And I'm going to leave you some videos here uh, until the next time you're back. You take care and have a great day. Bye.